I would like to know if you have problems understanding what I'm saying in English. You can catch the main idea what I'm saying. Hello? Hola, teacher. Sí, yo trato de, de interpretar el contexto de lo que dice. Y sí, pero como le repito, yo todavía no sé contestar co correctamente. ¿verdad? Pero yo sí más o menos le, le entiendo. Me, me ubico en el contexto. Ok, good. It's ok. That's the main idea, right? That if you cannot understand everything at all, so it's important that you catch the main idea, the captain, la idea principal de lo que estoy diciendo, verdad? Y así escuchar el inglés. Because, because that's the idea in this class, right? That um, we interact in English. So that you listen, speak somebody or someone speaking English. And if you want to say something in English, it's okay. It's better because you put in practice, right? The speaking skill. <clears throat> so, pero también vamos a, a, a ver si lo explicamos así en, en español, ¿verdad? No todo que sea en inglés para que se, se comprenda o, o se termine como de comprender <clears throat> algunas cositas tal vez que no se comprenden este, en absoluto. Okay, right now, um, I am going to share the screen with you. And please confirm if you can see the slides right now. Ah, no, sorry. I have not shared that. Please wait a minute. Okay, ready. Okay, so everybody can see what I'm sharing right now. Can you see the slides? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. good. The bird to be. Okay, this topic is in unit one, appear in unit one. Okay, so um, in the first class on Friday, I remember that uh, we were talking about this topic, the bird to be, and but uh, the difference will be that today we are going to talk about how to make interrogative sentences. So, do you know what mean interrogative sentences? <clears throat> when you ask something. Okay. See. Yes. Of course. When we ask something, right, to somebody else, when we make questions, do you know what to mean questions? Hello? Do you know what to mean, saben qué significa questions? <coughs> Preguntas. Pregunta. Pregunta. Así es. Question is pregunta. Bien. And that's what we are going to make today or what we are going to practice today, questions in English, but uh, using the verb to be, okay? That's in the topic, questions using the verb to be. And at the same time, um, we are going to practice uh, the contractions, okay? Contractions in English, short answers, preguntas cortas, and long answers. Vamos a ver ahí la diferencia de qué quiere decir eso de respuestas cortas y respuestas largas. <clears throat> okay. And please remember that you have to practice or you have to work on the platform because it's very important that you advance and work on the platform because you only have three weeks in order to finish unit one, two, three, and four. Okay. 
you only have three weeks. Solo tienen tres semanas. That's why it's very important that you work on the platform every day, at least one hour, al menos una hora. Okay. And we are going to start right now. <clears throat> As I mentioned at the beginning, so if somebody is having issues with connection or if someone is listening bad in the audio, so please let me know, okay? And right now we are going to start unit one, the bird to be, yes, no questions, short answers and contractions. <clears throat> okay. Bird to be, yes, no question. That uh, what's mean yes, no question. It's the same like interrogative sentences, okay? So we are going to learn the structure that we have to use in order to make a question. <clears throat> in the first class on Friday, we were talking about this structure. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, you are, we are, and they are. Okay, so did you learn this um, personal pronouns for the people that uh, um, didn't know about this or didn't know about the meaning of these words? Please, uh, you have to learn the personal pronouns and the verb to be, okay? And you have to know how to conjugate personal pronouns with the verb to be. <clears throat> This is an affirmative, but today, so everything will change because in order to make a question using the verb to be, we have to change personal pronouns and verb to be. Why? Because these are in order to make affirmative sentences. And this one are in order to make interrogative sentences. What we have to change is write or mention or pronounce at the beginning the verb to be. And then after the verb to be, después del verbo to be, we need to write personal pronoun. But how we are going to pronounce that? So what's the, the correct pronunciation in order to make a question? Am I? I am not going to say, am I? Am I? Never. Am I? <clears throat> you can repeat after me. It's not necessary that you turn on your microphone, okay, on your computer or your cell phone. So you can repeat alone. Pueden repetir ustedes solos. Am I? Am I? Am I? En la afirmación es que lo digo, I am. I am, entonces, and we can get confused, right? And we can say in questions like, am I, pero no, verdad? So, am I, am I, am I, as you can am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, is it, are you, are we, in our day? Okay, that's the structure that we have to use in order to make a question. At the end, we can use a complement. Okay, for example, am I a student? That is a question and it's very simple. Okay, am I a student? So do you know what's mean that sentence? <clears throat> can somebody tell me what does that sentence mean? ¿Qué significa esa oración cuando digo, am I a student? Okay. Uh -huh, correcto. Soy estudiante, ¿verdad? Y es una pregunta que me hago a mí mismo. Am I a student? So, another question could be, um, are you a worker person? Are you a worker person? Esa es otra pregunta. That is another question. Are you a worker person? Is he a good boy? Is she an excellent doctor? Okay, are we a good team? Somos un buen equipo. Are we a good team? So are they excellent people? ¿Verdad? 
hay muchas formas en las que podemos pues, hacer preguntas utilizando el verbo to be. Ahora, veamos como un poco más aquí el vocabulario en el cual podemos usar para hacer uh, in order to make interrogative sentences. Angry, meeting, never, desk, husband, happy, hungry, and beautiful. So most of the time I have realized that uh, a lot of people um, get confused when pronouncing hungry and angry. Muchas personas me he dado cuenta que se confunden when pronounce angry and hungry. <coughs> so the difference is that uh, enojado in English. So we can say like angry. Nunca vamos a decir angry. So angry is the correct pronunciation. Like uh, como que decimos con la letra E al inicio y no a E, angry, angry, angry. But when we want to pronounce hambriento, it's different. We'll be hungry, hungry, hung, hung. Como que lo estamos pronunciando con una J al inicio. Hungry, hungry. So... Can somebody make a question using <clears throat> personal pronoun, a verb to be, and this word? Can somebody make a question using this word? ¿Puede alguien hacer una pregunta utilizando esta palabra? <coughs> Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, very good. Are you hungry? And what, what are you asking me right now? So, ¿tienes hambre? Podríamos traducirlo como estás hambriento, pero ya interpretándolo mejor a nuestro idioma sería ¿tienes hambre? Are you hungry? Very good. So now, can someone else make a question using this word, angry? Hello, are you there? It's very easy. <clears throat> so let me see, um, I'm going to choose someone. Um, Nikki? <clears throat> Hello? Are you here, Nikki? Someone else? Teacher, you seem um, hungry. Hungry. So we did a uh, we did an interrogative sentence using hungry, but right now we are going to use angry. This word. Angry. That uh, I would like that uh, someone here make a question using a personal pronoun, a verb to be, and this word, angry. It's very easy. For example, is he angry? For example. Okay, tell me. Are you angry with your sister? Okay, very good, perfect. But remember that the pronunciation, it's very important here. So I heard that you say, that you said uh, hungry, but the correct pronunciation is angry, angry. <clears throat> okay. But angry. the sense, uh -huh, angry, angry. Are you angry with your sister? Very good. Good question. It's a good question. A good structure as well. Okay. So, so here we have more vocabulary. If you don't know this vocabulary, I know that this vocabulary, it's very, it's, it's very common 
it's very basic. Probably you already know this, these words, <clears throat> but if anybody here so doesn't know these words, please, you have to learn it right because it's a basic vocabulary, basic words that when you are learning, you have to know what's mean these words. Okay, like chair. No decimos chair, sino que chair. Everybody know that what mean chair, comfortable. It's a word that most of the time most people um, get confused because that pronunciation, it's a little bit difficult at the beginning. No decimos confortable, ni, confo ni confortable, ni confortable, así como... Casi como se, como se escribe, ¿verdad? Comfortable, no. Es más bien comfortable. <coughs> comfortable. Comfortable. Pueden escuchar la pronunciación en un diccionario, sí, online. Y escucharla bastantes veces hasta que lo digan, lo vean diciendo parecido. Comfortable. Nunca decimos comfortable, porque se escucha muy, así, muy literal como se escribe. Es comfortable. Y significa cómodo. Newsstand, puesto de periódicos. Forks, tenedores. Table, everybody know what means table. Pocket, bolsillo. Shoes, <coughs> zapatos. New, nuevo. Actress, daughter. Son, siblings. And be quiet means guardar silencio, okay? Be quiet, okay? For example, when in schools, in a school when students um, are making so things that they don't have to say and the teachers say, hi, be quiet, students. Guarden silencio, ¿verdad? Be quiet and guardar silencio are expressions that are very important to know. So, okay, here we are going to make another example using uh, this um, whatever word of this vocabulary. For example, how would you say in English? Uh, um, <clears throat> let me see. Es esta silla cómoda? Yes. So, okay, tell me. Is this, is this, no, I said it. This sure. chair is comfortable. Mm -hmm. Is this chair comfortable? Muy bien. O podemos también usarlo como, <clears throat> is it comfortable? Is it, is it. Pero también como lo dijo usted, está correcto, ¿verdad? Ya utilizando la, el this, that, this and those, que también son este, palabras, vocabulario muy usado en inglés para decir este, esta, estos o esos, que eso lo vamos a ver en la siguiente clase, en el siguiente tema. Ahí está ese tema, ¿verdad? Muy bien. How we can make interrogative sentences using verb to be. Examples. If we want to write an interrogative sentence, we must change the personal pronoun and the verb to be, and write a question mark at the end of the sentence. Okay, and here we have in Spanish, so if you cannot understand everything at all, so you can read it here in Spanish, okay? It is written here in Spanish, and it's the same. So it's the same la, la, that, that I mentioned at the beginning, that we have to change the personal pronoun and the verb to be. We have to write the personal pronoun after the verb to be in order to make a question. And something very important that we don't, need, we don't have to forget is write a question mark. Okay, we must not forget write a question mark. No debemos olvidar escribir 
el question mark es el signo de interrogación. Así se llama en inglés, signo de interrogación. Question mark. Al final de la oración. Cuando la hacemos? When it's a written sentence, right? When it's a written sentence. Cuando es una oración escrita. But when we express something, okay? We express something. We are speaking with someone and we make a question, we have to change the, the accent, el acento de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, un ejemplo con una afirmación. So, an example with an affirmative sentence with a question, okay? So, <clears throat> are you a teacher? <clears throat> are you a teacher? But in an affirmative sentence will be different. You are a teacher. You are a teacher. Are you a teacher? Okay. So, are you friends? So, ustedes son amigos. Are you friends? Pero es diferente cuando hago una afirmación. You are friends. Estoy afirmando. You are friends. So, you are classmates. Are you classmates? Son compañeros. Are you classmates? ¿Verdad? Are you co-workers? Okay, it's different. We have to make that in order to make a question. But when it's a written sentence, cuando es una oración escrita, we need to write a question mark at the end of the sentence, okay? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta ahorita? So, um, can you hear me very well right now? Hi. Can you um, repeat, teacher? Um, can you hear me very well right now? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, good. So, I'm asking you because um, sometimes, uh, so... That connection, right, uh, um, can change. That's why I'm asking you that. So here we have like like the structure that we have to use in order to make an interrogative sentence. So here says regular form. Regular form means that la forma regular in order to make an affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence. He is hungry. He is hungry. Affirmative. Interrogative sentence is a question. Is he hungry? Is he hungry? And if you pay attention at the end, we have written the question mark. But in English, it's not necessary to write the question mark at the beginning of the sentence. Like in Spanish, that when we write a sentence, an interrogative sentence in Spanish, we need to write the question mark at the beginning and at the end of the sentence. However, in English, it's everything different because it's only necessary to write a question mark at the end. So let's necessary escribir el signo de interrogación o el question mark al final cuando es escrita y debemos cambiar como la pronunciación cuando es una pregunta is he hungry ¿Verdad? esa es la estructura que se usa es muy sencilla lo único que cambia es son estas cositas el verbo to be y el pronombre personal ok so do you have questions about it Everything for is me, clean so far? For me, no, everything is okay. Okay, good. Somebody else? If you have questions, you can tell me, hey, uh, I have not understand everything, or I cannot understand this part of the topic. Can you explain again? Uh, good night, teacher. Hi. 
I have a question, but but it's about uh, sentences that you said. Okay, what, is, tell me. what is the meaning? Everything at all. Um, I cannot understand you very well. So can you speak uh, louder? What is the meaning? Everything at all. Oh, okay. Everything. Todo en absoluto. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. How to answer yes or not? If somebody asks me a question, how to answer yes or not? If somebody asks me a question, okay? We have to know that in English exist many ways in which we can answer a question. For example, exist short answers. There are short answers, long answers, and at the same time, there are contractions, okay? Now, number one, we are going to learn how to make a short answer. These are short answers. Like, yes, I am, yes, you are, no, they are not, no, we are not, yes, it is, yes, he is, no, she is not. Those are short answers. But uh, can you wonder, ustedes se pueden preguntar, but what's the difference between a, a short answer with a long answer? What's the difference between them? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una respuesta corta y respuesta larga? Bien. Primero, vamos a ver sobre las respuestas cortas. So, right now, we are going to practice a little bit about short answers. For example, are you my daughter? Are you my daughter? ¿Qué significa eso? What does that sentence mean? Are you my daughter? Eres mi hija. Eres mi hija, okay. And we can answer. Podemos responder. Yes, I am. And that is an answer, right? It's correct. Yes, I am. But it's short. And when we say long answers, respuestas largas, that means that we add more vocabulary to the sentence. Eso significa que cuando es, es cuando añadimos más vocabulario a la oración. Yes, I am your daughter. So we live together. Eso ya es una respuesta larga. Es cuando es, solo añadimos más horas, más palabras a, la, a la, la respuesta. Ya no solo decimos, yes, I am, sino que decimos algo más. <coughs> Are you a new worker? Yes, I am. Am I a student? Yes, you are. Are they happy? No, they are not. Are we in the meeting right now? No, we are not. Is it the new stand here? Yes, it is. Is he your dad? Yes, he is. Is she your favorite actress? No, she is not. Okay, those are short answers. And in this part, you can see that all these are questions. All these, sorry. All these are questions in English, okay? At the beginning, you can see the verb to be, and after the verb to be, is a personal pronoun. It's because they are questions. And here we have a short answers. Okay, right now we are going to practice a little bit. So some of you are going to participate. So that means that um, <clears throat> you are going to, some of you are going to answer right some of you are going to answer and some of you are going to make the questions 
algunos van a responder y otros van a hacer las preguntas. <coughs> Para que vayamos más o menos ahí practicando las preguntas y dándole respuestas a, a las preguntas. But in this activity, I want that you answer according to your proper answer. Okay, so it's not necessary repeat what you are reading. It's not necessary repeat what you are reading here. So, for example, in my case, I am going to practice with Herson. Are you here, Herson? Hello? A volunteer? Yes, I am. I want to practice. Okay, okay. So, Gerson, right? No, my name is Gerardo. Ah, okay, Gerardo. So, thank you, thank you, Gerardo. So, right now, we are going to practice together. And in my case, I am going to read the questions, okay? And okay. you are going to answer. You are going to answer, okay? Good. Yeah. But, so... You are not you are not going to repeat what you are reading here. So you are going to answer. So like um, this My question. Answer. Yeah, your proper answers. Like uh, these questions are real. Como que las preguntas son reales. Usted va a responder pues con su realidad, ¿verdad? No vamos a necesariamente repetir lo que está escrito aquí, como he dicho. So, for example, we can start. Um, Gerardo, are you my daughter? No, I am not. Okay, good. That's, the, that's a correct answer. Because if you only repeat what you are reading here, you are going to say, yes, I am. Like, you are my daughter, but you are not, right? So, <laughs> you are my, <clears throat> you're my student, right? It's yeah. a good answer. It's a good answer, okay? And you're a student. Okay, good. Are you a new worker? Yes, I'm a new worker. This is okay. wrong. Actually, when I say, yes, I'm I an old worker. Okay. Okay. Herson, am I a student? No, I am your teacher. Okay, good. La respuesta aquí sería, no, you are not, ¿verdad? No, you are not. Okay. Oh, yes. Are they happy? Yes. All the students are happy. Okay. Aquí, ¿verdad? En, en estas preguntas así que no tienen mucho sentido, eh, con algo en específico, podemos inventarnos. Yes, they are, o no, they are not. Aquí estamos con respuestas cortas. No es necesario como extenderse hablando. Son respuestas cortas. Okay. This is a good one. Are we in the meeting right now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, although Gerardo is reading here, no, we are not, but his answer, because... Yes, we are in the meeting. <clears throat> okay. Is it the new stand here? I have a question. What's the main new stand? I don't know. New stand, new stand means a uh, puesto de periódicos. Uh, is the new stand here? No, it, it is not. <clears throat> okay. Is he your dad? Yes, he is. Okay, good. Is she your favorite actress? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, good. Thank you, Her okay. uh, Gerardo. Good. Okay. Muy bien. Ahora voy a elegir algunos. Así que van a participar. Eh, permítame, Oscar, ¿tiene una pregunta?
Oscar Arturo, no, ¿alguna teacher. pregunta? Ah, muy bien. No, teacher, no hay ninguna pregunta. Muy bien, muy bien. Bueno, lo que vamos a hacer es que voy a ir mencionando a los que van a ir participando, ¿verdad? Este, vamos a ir así como eh, en pareja. Este, uno van a, a leer las preguntas, a preguntar y otros van a, a responder. Bien, pero me gustaría saber si han entendido exactamente cómo es, porque en el caso de, de, la, de la actividad, no solo necesariamente tienen que leer lo que está aquí. En las preguntas sí, obviamente, pero las respuestas no es una como obligación repetir lo que está escrito, sino que ustedes van como a responder de acuerdo a lo que les estén preguntando. Como por ejemplo, en el caso con, con Gerardo, le pregunté, ¿Are you my daughter? Obviamente no, ¿verdad? Si, si sabemos lo que nos están preguntando, vamos a responder a una pregunta, una respuesta lógica. ¿Are you a new worker? Ah, bueno, si sí, soy, pues ya tengo un tiempo trabajando en lo que, a lo que alguien se dedique, uh, puede responder, no, I am not. Y si lo es, pues, yes, I am. Bien, esta pregunta aquí nos puede confundir, la de, am I a student? Porque es una pregunta que me estoy haciendo como a mí mismo. ¿Soy estudiante? Bueno, en este caso... No vamos a saber si la otra persona es estudiando o no, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí pueden, pueden ustedes inventarse una respuesta afirmativa o negativa. Yes, you are o no, you are not, como ustedes crean ahí. Pero que tenga lógica las respuestas con las preguntas. <coughs> ¿Hay dudas? Bien, ahí vamos a ir viendo entonces. Permítanme. Permítanme. Okay, right now uh, it's going to start uh, participating Alma and Aaron Mejia. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. So let me see. Aaron, are you here? Yes. Okay. So I want that you, Aaron, you are going to make the questions, okay? And Alma, you are going to answer, okay? Okay. Get it? Do you understand what you are going to say? Yes. Okay. So if you cannot understand a word or something like that, do you know what's the meaning of some words? So you can ask, you can ask me, okay? Pueden preguntarme. Okay, go ahead. You can start. Are you my daughter? No, I'm not your daughter. Okay, good. The next one. Are you a new worker? No, I'm not a worker. Okay. Number three. Am I a student? Yes. You are an student. Okay, good. Number four. <clears throat> are they happy? Yes, they are happy. Okay, the next one. Are we in the meeting? Yes, we are in this meeting. Okay, good. The next one. It, it, the new stand here. Uh, no, it, it is a new stand. Okay, good. 
the, the next one <clears throat> is he your dad no he isn't my dad okay perfect and the last one is she your favorite actress yes she is my favorite actress okay very good Good job, Alma, and thank you very much, Aaron, as well, for your participation. Okay, thank you. perfect. Bien. Okay, well, right now, so if everybody pay attention, so <clears throat> you could realize that um, Alma, so change all the answers. Even she added more vocabulary to her answers. Ella añadió más vocabulario a sus, a sus respuestas. Es cierto que estábamos en las short answers. No era necesario añadirle, pero tampoco puedo decir que es incorrecto lo que hizo. Porque eso ya no depende. De... Eso es opcional. Si alguien quiere decir una respuesta corta, una respuesta larga. Eso es opcional. Así que estuvo muy bien. Nada, aquí nada más solo es el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que estas son las respuestas cortas. Ya cuando ella le fue añadiendo más vocabulario, ya son como respuestas largas. Pero también es correcto. No hay ningún momento en el que alguien pueda decir, no, aquí no es necesario usarlo. Y aquí sí, no. Eso es opcional. <coughs> ok. Uh, let me see. Right now is um, Andrea and Cecilia. Are you here? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, um, let me see, Andrea, you are going to make the questions. And Cecilia, you are going to answer, okay? Okay. <clears throat> okay, go ahead, you can start. Are you my daughter? Yes. Mm. Yes, I, I am your daughter. Muy bien, permítanme. Vaya. En este caso, eh, va, dijimos que las respuestas iban a ser como de acuerdo a lo que le estaban preguntando. No necesariamente tenía que leer las, las respuestas, sino más bien, la respuesta estaba bien, estuvo correcta lo que dijo. Pero tiene que responder más o menos lo que le estén preguntando. Por ejemplo, ¿sabe qué significa la, la, la primera pregunta? Yes, teacher. Ajá, muy bien. En este caso, obviamente no... Este, permítanme, quiero ver. Andrea no es su mamá, ¿verdad? <ríe> obviamente. Entonces, es raro cuando ella pregunte, are you my daughter? Y usted le, pre, le, le dé la respuesta de que sí. Entonces, ¿cómo respondería usted a esa pregunta? Sería, no, I am not. Ok, that's the correct answer. No, I am not. Ok, and in that way, you are going to continue answer, ok, to the questions. Okay, the okay. question number two. Okay. Are you a new worker? No, I'm not new okay. worker. Good. Okay, good, perfect. Question number three. Am I a student? Um, yes, you are. Yes, you are a student. Okay, good. Number four. <clears throat> are they happy? Yes, they are happy. Good. Number five. Are we in the meeting? Yes, uh, we are in the meeting. Okay, good. The next one. Is it the new stand here? No, it. No, it's in. It's in. 
Y me, okay. no, no, no mucho, teacher. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Adelante, la otra pregunta. ¿Es he your dad? No, he isn't. Ok, good. And the last question. <clears throat> ¿Es he your favorite actress? Yes, she is my favorite actress. Ok, very good. Good job. Excellent. And thank you very much for your participation. Good answers as well. Eh, buenas respuestas, ¿verdad? Incluso he notado de que le han ido añadiendo vocabulario a las respuestas. Y está muy bien. Ok, the next one. Claudia. Claudia y... Um, esperen. Y Yasmín. Ok, teacher. Ok, Claudia y Yasmín, are you here? Yes, teacher. Ok, good. Claudia, okay. you are going, okay, you are going to make the questions, Claudia. And Yasmin, okay. you are going to answer. Ok, you can start. Go ahead. Are you my daughter? No, I am not down there. Okay, go ahead. Are you an, a, a new worker? No, you are not. You are not working. Va, en este caso. En este caso la respuesta no estuvo tan bien que se diga porque eh, lo que le están preguntando es ¿Are you a new worker? ¿Eres una nueva trabajadora? Usted tiene que responder como que es a usted que le están preguntando. Y yo alcancé a escuchar que usted dijo No, you are not. Bien, are you a new worker? ¿Cómo respondería? Ya más bien si la respuesta es negativa o positiva, ¿cómo respondería? No, I am. Ok, good. No, I am not. ¿Verdad? Ok, number three. And I am student. Yes, you are a student. Ok, good. Perfect. Number four. Are they happy? Yes, they are happy. Okay, good, excellent. Number five. Are we in the meeting? No, we are not. Okay, good. Number six. <clears throat> Is the new stand here? Yes, it Okay, the next one. Is he your dad? Yes, he is. Okay, and the last one. <clears throat> She's your favorite actress? No, she is not. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. So the next one, Vanessa Romero, Catherine Vanessa Romero and Lea, are you here? Hi, yes, yes I'm, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Catherine? Yes, teacher. Okay, and the next person, the next participator, Lea? Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay, good. So, <clears throat> Catherine, you are going to make the questions, okay? You are going to read the questions, and Lea, you are going to answer, okay? Get it? Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, you can start. Go ahead. Are you my daughter? daughter? No, I am not. Okay. 
Are you a new worker? Yes, I am. Good. I'm a student. Yes, you are. Okay. Are they happy? Yes, they are happy. Are we in the meeting? Yes, we are. Okay. Is it, is it the newsstand here? Yes, it is. Is he your dad? No, he's not. Is she your favorite address? Uh, no, she's not. Okay, excellent. Very good. You did a good job. Excellent. So thank you very much for your participation. So the next ones, um, let me see. Luis, Enrique, and Mauricio, Mar Martinez, but uh, in this case, you are going to read this one. These are long answers, okay? Are the same questions, so if you can see are the same questions, but the answers change a little bit, okay? Are you ready? Hello, I am ready. Okay. Yes, it's good. Okay, good. So, Luis, Luis, you are going to read the questions, okay? And Mauricio, you are going to answer. Okay. Okay, good. Go ahead. I start now. Are you, uh, are you my daughter? No, I am not your daughter. Okay. Are you, are you a new worker? Yes, I am a new worker. Am I a student? No, you are not. You are an employee. Okay. Are they happy? Uh, no, they are not. They are angry. Are we in the meeting? Yes, right now we are in the meeting. Is it the new stand here? No, it is not here. Over there you can find it. Find it. Is he your dad? Yes, he is my dad. Is she your favorite actress? No, she is not. You don't know her. Okay, very good. Very good. Good job. And thank you very much for your participation as well. You did a good job. So if we pay attention in this part of this activity, so the only thing that have, has changed is that uh, the answers are different, right? So in the first part of the activity, we only answered like, yes, I am, yes, you are. But in this part, everything has changed. So we have added more information to the answers. Hemos añadido más información a las preguntas, a las respuestas, perdón. So we added more vocabulary to the answers. So in this part, it's not necessary only say, yes, I am, yes, you are, no, you are not. So in this part, <clears throat> we must pronounce more vocabulary. Debemos pronunciar más vocabulario. Bien, the next ones, eh, let me see, Nikki and Oscar. <clears throat> Nikki Sanchez and Oscar Arturo. Are you here? Yes, teacher, yes. I'm here. Yes. Okay, good, perfect. Thank you. So, Nikki, you are going to read the, the questions and Oscar, you are going to answer. Okay, okay Oscar. Great. Okay. Are you ready, Oscar? Yes. Okay, okay, great. Are you my daughter? No, I am not your daughter. Are you a new worker? Yes, I am new worker. Am I a student? No, you are not. You are an employee. Are they happy? 
No, they are not. They are angry. Are we in the meeting? Yes, right now we are the, in the meeting. Is it the news stand here? No, it's not here. Over there you can find it. Oh, fine. Yes. Is he your dad? Yes, he is my dad. Is she your favorite actress? <clears throat> no, she is not. You don't know her. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, Nikki and Oscar. But I would like to know if, um, uh, did you find a new word that you don't know the meaning, a new vocabulary that you don't know what's the meaning? Did you find a new vocabulary? Encontraron nuevo vocabulario that que no sabían su significado? Eh, si te echar angry, por ejemplo. Ah, angry. Angry es en enojado. Ah, sí, angry. Yo lo, antes sí tiene razón. En un momento al inicio de la reunión usted lo estuvo comparando con hungry, hungry. Que, sí. que es hambriento, ¿verdad? Correcto, sí. Entonces sí, palabra. la palabra. Correcto, me gustó esa diferencia porque ya antes me había equivocado y para mí, sí. o sea, tomar como ejemplo esta palabra, eh, sí me, me gustó porque ya sé diferenciar entre una y la otra, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, sí, así es. Es que es muy común la, la, la escritura, entonces tiende a confundir un poco. Sí, así es. Uh -huh. Muy bien, ¿algo otra palabra que encontraron y no sabían qué significaba? Ah, y lo demás, por lo demás, sí, ya, ya la mayoría eran bastante conocidas. Algunas nada más hay que saber, quizás, ordenarnos al momento de formar la oración, que, que uh -huh. ajá, esa es la parte en donde a veces no, no todos nos es fácil eh, sí, ordenar sí. la oración y preguntar y, pues, posteriormente saber responder adecuada a, a lo que usted estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Que hay que responder como que, como que a mí verdaderamente, hacia mí va la pregunta y, y, y sí o no, soy algo o no soy algo. Pues. Ajá, sí, correcto. E esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que uh -huh. esto nada más es para tener una idea de qué responder, pero ya después uno va a responder, o sea, como que le están preguntando la pregunta, ¿verdad? A uno mismo. Pero muy bien, Vamos. gracias. Y al final, quizás, para terminar esa, esa pregunta que usted nos hizo, quizás saber diferenciar entre una respuesta corta y una respuesta larga, porque eh, ah. si, si nos están diciendo por respuesta corta, yo creo que deberíamos de aprender a practicar respuestas cortas. Y, y si nos están diciendo respuestas largas, también deberíamos de aprender a, a contestar respuestas largas. Eso no es fácil. En mi caso no me es fácil, pues porque, por ejemplo, uno puede entender lo que usted tal vez está explicando, pero ya comenzar a hablar y, y tratar de desenvolverse sí. hablando inglés no es fácil. Sí. Sí, sí, en, al inicio es difícil, no, no es fácil tampoco, ¿verdad? No, nada es fácil en sí. Pero sí. fijémonos en algo, que cuando yo empiezo a explicar sobre respuestas largas, respuestas cortas, ya cuando uno está interactuando, eso se olvida a veces. O sea, uno va a expresarse y no sabe si está diciendo, ah, en esta parte acaba de utilizar una respuesta corta. Y aquí acaba de utilizar una respuesta larga. No, uno se expresa, pues, naturalmente. Ya no va como diferenciando eso a la hora de expresarse. Pero sí es bueno conocerlo, ¿verdad? Es bueno Así es. Sí, así es. Bien, como en este caso, ¿verdad? Aquí eh, hemos hecho oraciones, respuestas largas, ¿verdad? So, but we are going to continue with the activity. So I think that the next ones are, let me see. Um, Raquel. And Polanco. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Raquel, thank you. Uh, another person. Polanco, are you here? Okay, so Raquel and Tatiana, 
Tatiana, are you here? Okay, I think that uh, they have left a meeting. So that's why they are not here right now. So Raquel, uh, you are going to make the activity with uh, Gerardo. Okay. Okay, Gerardo, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Thank you. So uh, let me see. Gerardo, you are going to read the questions. Okay. And okay. Raquel, you are going to answer. Okay. You can start. You can start. Go ahead. Okay. Are you my daughter? No, I am not your daughter. Are you a new worker? Yes, I am a new worker. Anna is studying? No, you are not. You are an employee. Are they happy? No, they are not. They are angry. Are we in the meeting? Yes, right now we are in the meeting. Is it the newsstand here? No, it is not here. Over there you can find it. Is he your dad? Yes, he is my dad. Is she your favorite actress? No, she is not. You don't know her. Okay, excellent. Very good. You did a good job. Thank you very much for your for your participation. So right now I think that all of you have participated yet. <clears throat> so but here we are going to continue in order to how to make contractions. Okay, because it's very important as well how to make contractions. Okay, for example. Contractions are when you unit, okay, when you unit some words. For example, you are, so you are not going to say you are. You need to say, or you need to pronounce like your, your, I'm, I am not, I am, sino que I'm, okay, uh, isn't. Ya no es necesario decir, he is not, is not, sino que isn't, o también his. Ya no vamos a decir it is, sino que it's, it's, aren't, o we're, ¿verdad? His. Those are contractions in English. For example, am I your mate? Yes, you're my mate. So, when... There are not contractions. Cuando no hay contracciones, we say, yes, you are my mate. But in this case, you can see a contraction here. That means that you need to say, or we need to, to pronounce this like, yes, you're my mate. You're, you're my mate. <clears throat> Is Mr. Jones here? Yes, I'm Mr. Jones. Is Mr. Jones here? No, he isn't here. Or, no, he's not here. Is it the concert tomorrow? Yes, it's tomorrow. Okay, it's tomorrow. Are you angry with me? Are you angry with me? No, we aren't, or no, we're not. Is he a good boy? Yes, he's a good boy. Okay, those are contractions. <clears throat> but here, in this part of the presentation, you can see all the contractions using the verb to be. But you can see that here says correct, and this part says incorrect. OK, 
Ustedes pueden ver, ¿verdad? Que aquí dice correcto y aquí dice incorrecto. And what's the difference between these sentences with this one? Why these are correct and why these are incorrect? And I'm going to explain that right now. Okay. So, <clears throat> as, so as far as I know, como ya sabemos, ¿verdad? In English, exist short answers, long answers as well. So, exist positive answers and negative answers. Existen respuestas positivas o respuestas afirmativas y también respuestas negativas, que es cuando negamos algo y cuando lo afirmamos, que es, serían las respuestas afirmativas. Ok. When we want to use contractions, when we want to use contractions with short answers, so we need to be careful in, in that part. Necesitamos ser cuidadosos. Why? Because when we use contractions with short answers, con respuestas cortas, it's incorrect. So we never need to say, nunca necesitamos decir, yes, I'm, yes, you're, yes, his, yes, she's, or yes, it's. Okay? Yes, we're, yes, they're. Necesitamos añadirle un complemento para que tenga más sentido la oración. For example, yes, I'm a student. Yes, you're my friend. It's my teacher. Yes, she's my girlfriend. Yes, it's my dad. Yes, we're coming. Or, yes, they are working. Okay? But in this part, for example, uh, we can answer to somebody else. Puedo, puedo preguntar, perdón, a alguien. Y la pregunta es, por ejemplo, <clears throat> let me see. Are you a good student? Are you a good student? Yes, I'm. Y, re, y respondo con una respuesta corta, contractada. Yes, I am. Lo mejor es decir, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Pero nunca decir, yes, I am. Si quiero usar una contracción, ya necesito decir un complemento mejor. Yes, I am a good student. Yes, I am a good student. Ya necesito decir un complemento. Así de que, para las respuestas afirmativas, para las respuestas afirmativas, cuando vayamos a usar contracciones, contracciones, siempre necesito añadirle algo, un complemento. Nunca la voy a decir de esta forma. Ustedes pueden decirlo, pero no, no suena bien, incluso no, nunca se usa. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir una respuesta corta, mejor la digo normal. Yes, she is. Yes, we are. Are you studying right now? Yes, we are. ¿Verdad? Ahí sí está bien. Are you studying right now? ¿Estás estudiando? Yes, we are. Pero nunca se dice, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ah, si quiero usar la contracción, sí, añado algo más aquí. Yes. We are studying. Yes, we are studying. ¿Se entiende eso? Sí, teacher. Ajá. Bien, por eso lo dejé aquí. Miren, aquí están las formas en las que se puede utilizar. Lo correcto es, de, es usarlo de esta manera. En las contracciones. Pero cuando no uso contracciones, aquí sí se puede decir lo normal. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Normal. Pero cuando se van a usar contracciones, esto es incorrecto. 
necesitamos añadirle como un complemento para que ya tenga más sentido y sea lo, lo ideal. Ok. So here we have more contractions, but these are negative answers. Negative answers, ok. Negative answers. Respuestas negativas. Cuando negamos algo. For example, no, I am not student. Or we can say, no, I'm not. No, you're not my friend. No, you're not. No, he's not my teacher. No, he's not. No, he's not my girlfriend. No, she's not. Or she isn't. Hay mucha forma de contractar, ¿verdad? Podemos contractar el pronombre personal con el verbo to be. Y también podemos contractar el verbo to be con la negación. Por ejemplo, no, you aren't. O no, you're not. Pero en las negaciones, aquí ambas son correctas. Si ya le añado un complemento o no, es correcto. ¿Por qué? Porque con el not ya se escucha un poquito más larga la respuesta. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Ok. No, we're not. Otra vez la misma pregunta. Uh, are we in the meeting right now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ahí sí necesito decirlo cabal como es. Yes, we are. Pero imaginémonos que yo voy a dar una respuesta negativa. Are we in the meeting right now? Sería esta. No, we're not. Está bien así. O también puedo añadirle un complemento. No, we're not in the meeting. Ambas son correctas. Si lo digo de una respuesta larga, una respuesta corta, la contracción se puede usar así. Donde está incorrecto es aquí. Esto es lo que no se usa. Mejor ya lo uso de esta forma. Así como está aquí. Aquí no hay contracciones. En las respuestas afirmativas. Está cabal. No, they are not. Por ejemplo, yes, he is. Nunca digo yes, he's. Así como aquí. Nunca digo yes, he's. Mejor le añado un complemento ya para que ahí sí sea mejor. Yes, he's my teacher. Yes, he's my brother. Yes, he's my trainer. He's my coworker. She's my best friend. Okay. Yes, we are classmates. We are. Ahora, si yo no quiero usar contracciones también, tampoco es una obligación. Aquí lo van a ver en la plataforma. Here on the platform, you are going to find those, those topics. So I'm going to show you right now. In unit one, okay. It, it's the topic about the verb to be in affirmative sentences, yes, no questions, and contractions. Who's next? I'm next. Excuse me. No, you aren't. We are next. Bien, aquí, de acuerdo a las indicaciones, vamos a trasladar la respuesta, ¿verdad? <clears throat> Al espacio en blanco. Por ejemplo, ¿Is Mr. Jones here? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la correcta? The first one, the second one, or the last one? Remember that we are talking about contractions. 
how we use contractions. The second one. The second one. Medium. Okay, the second one. Yes, I'm, I'm, verdad, I'm Mr. Jones. Is he your, your husband? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Number one, number one right. Isn't. No, he isn't. Aquí sería, así sería la pronunciación. No, he isn't my husband. Y si se fijan, tiene un complemento, ¿verdad? How is Susan? Is she okay? Number two. Number two. Okay, are you sure? Yes, it's correct. No. And how would you pronounce this answer? How would you pronounce it? ¿Cómo lo pronunciaría? No, she Hello. isn't happy. Okay, good. No, she isn't, ¿verdad? She isn't. She... No, she isn't happy. Así sería. She isn't. I am hungry. Aren't you? Number three. Number three. Number, number one. Number one. Number one, right? Because it's it's contraction. I am. I am not. Okay, this is a question. This is a question that uh, like uh, like a negative question. Number two. Number two. Aren't you calling here? Es como, como cuando preguntamos, ¿no tienes frío aquí? Aren't you calling here? Yes, I am. Okay, number six. Number one, number two, or number three? Number three. Number three, right. It's a beautiful town, isn't it? Yes, it is. These chairs aren't, aquí está otra contracción. These chairs aren't comfortable. Are they? Number three. Number three. How would you pronounce this answer? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. Muy bien. The new stand. Number one. Number one, okay. And it's like, uh, the newsstand isn't on the first avenue, it's on the second avenue. The newsstand isn't, isn't, otra contracción. The forks are on the table. But the menus are first number one. The first one. The forks are on the table, but the menus aren't aren't. In here you are you are going to find like uh, 
a short test, like a short test in which you are going to select the correct answer, right? But if you realize you are not going to see the answer, okay? You are not going to select if it's correct or not. So, but you are going to realize about your score at the end of the test. It's a short test about um, five questions. Es un examen corto de cinco preguntas. It's very easy. Okay, so I don't know if you have questions about this topic. About the bird to be in questions. In no, teacher, questions. everything it's okay. Okay, no, good. good. Thank you. So uh, someone else, if you don't have questions, well, I think that it's all for today. But please confirm if you don't have questions about it. Okay, good. Thank you. So if you have question about something on the platform or something like that, please uh, let me know on WhatsApp. So you can send me a message on the on the group or a personal message right on WhatsApp. So on Wednesday, so we are not going to make a meeting because um, on Friday was the first meeting, right? And this is the second one. And we only make uh, two meetings per week. Solo hacemos dos reuniones por semana. And the first one was on Friday. And this is the second one. That's why on Wednesday, we are not going to make anything until next week, until the next Monday, and then on Wednesday. But that doesn't mean that you need to work on the platform. Okay, you need to advance on the platform because um, this coming Thursday, I'm not sure. Today is six, yeah. Okay, yeah, on Thursday, you need to finish unit one. This coming Thursday, este jueves, deben terminar unit one. Okay, and then continue with unit two and three the next week. Because you only have three weeks in order to finish the four units. Okay, please advance on the platform because it's very important in order to uh, continue with the next level okay, of the course. Okay, that's all for today. If you have questions, as I mentioned before, you can send me a message on WhatsApp if you have any question, right? But uh, today, thank you very much for your participation and time. And that's all. Have a good night. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night, teacher. Good night, see you later. See you later. Have a good night.